In this video, I'm going to show you how to add track bars to an image in OpenCV. And what this does is it allows you to quickly change parameters of what you're displaying just by sliding a track bar value around. Let's first import my image. So I need to bring in OpenCV. And then I can say my image is cv2.imread and I have lily jpeg and this lily.jpg file is in the same directory that my trackbar.py file is so it's able to find this image okay now let's just display this image i'll have cv2.im show i want to create a variable for this window name because this is how i'm going to connect my track bars so i need a variable called window and i want to display this image so window will be equal to we'll just call it lily and then I'll do cv2 dot wait key zero and I'll run this. And when I run this, I have this Lily that pops up and it waits until I hit a button and it then exits the script. So what I want to do is I want to be able to change the value of these pixels and I'm going to be changing them in two ways. I'm going to be changing the brightness and to change the brightness, I'm going to add in some offset and I'm going to be changing the contrast and to change the contrast I'm going to uh, so that's image plus some offset and the contrast is going to be image times contrast so to do the contrast and brightness I'm going to have image times contrast plus uh, plus the brightness and I can manipulate the images that way. So let's try this. Let's say, okay, my image, before I make my track bar, my image is equal to image plus 50. I run this and I get some weird artifacts. What this is happening is I'm actually overflowing my values. What overflowing is if I have, let's import NumPy. If I have A and A is equal to NumPy.1s, and let's make it a two by two matrix. I print A. What I get right here is I have a value of ones. If I add six to this, all of those ones are gonna be multiple or added to, uh, six is gonna be added to all those ones. If I multiply the three times A plus six, then I get three times one plus six is nine. So these are element operations and they occur over every single pixel value. What's actually happening if I say, okay, uh, with this overflowing is let's say A is an array and I'll say 200 and 255 and I'll force the data type to be uh, unsigned integer eight. Now let's print A. An unsigned integer eight has two to the N different values it can be. In our case, n is 8 because it's 8-bit. So this is 256 discrete values, and these values can be from 0 to 255 because 0 counts as a value it can be. Uh, that's a total of 256. Now once you get to 255 and you add 1, you don't go to 256. You overflow and you come back to 0. So I added 1 to my array. Uh, 200 goes to 201, 255 goes to zero, and then you start counting up from zero again. So that's what's happening with this lily right here when I'm adding 50 to it. Some of the channels that I'm adding 50 to are overflowing, some aren't. So we get these weird sort of cool color combinations. I want to not have that happen. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, change my data type of this lily to a float 32 and a float 32 uh, zero will be black still and one will be white so float 32 i'm going to take my image divide it by 255 so this is going to say when it's a float 32 it can be between a one and a zero if i divide or if i divide the highest value it can be as a jpeg image which is 255 that will map to a one if it's a zero it will map to a zero and everything else will map in between so I can make this conversion 
and then I can add a value to it. And if I if I added 50, it would just be a completely white image because I'm adding so much uh, numbers to that. But I don't have to worry about this overflow anymore. Okay. So let's add a track bar so I don't need to manually make these numbers and rerun my code. I'm going to do the contrast first. So I'm going to do CV2, create track bar. And the values I need is first, the, the arguments it takes, the first thing is going to be the label I want the track bar to show. So I'm, I want it to be the contrast. Next, what window does it go in? It goes in this Lily window. And then it takes two values, the actual contrast value in the max contrast value. And then finally, the function that is called uh, change contrast. So this is the callback function that's called whenever the track bar is moved. So we need to define a couple of these variables. We need to define, let's do it here, contrast. is equal to let's start it at 10 and we'll say max contrast is 100. Then we will write this uh, new function. So we'll change contrast. It takes in the value and this value is the value that the track bar is uh, showing. So then I want to create a global variable. I want to say I want this global contrast. And this global contrast is going to get assigned the value of val. Uh, contrast. I'm con contrast okay and then because i'm going to have two track bars i'm actually going to want to create another function i'm just going to call this perform operation and i'll define that now so when we perform operation and you'll see later why i do this uh, i don't want this is where i'm going to actually perform this operation and display my image so i'm going to have uh, image one is this original image times the, what do I call it? Contrast, contrast. And I want to display the cv2 am show window im1. Now this right now, what's wrong? Oh, um, max contrast. So now, right, I can adjust this track bar and by adjusting this track bar, I can change the values of this contrast. Now, this contrast, the slide bars can only be these whole numbers, but I don't really wanna multiply this by a 100. If I multiply it by 100, I'm gonna get these uh, really extreme values. So what I actually wanna do is I wanna divide this value right here by 10, by dividing it by 10, because of the number I chose at the beginning, my contrast will be multiplied by one. So I'll get the original image. And now when I multiply it, I can change that contrast a little bit more. Uh, when I'm multiplying it by a zero, every pixel becomes black. So I get nothing. And then my contrast just increases as I make it uh, higher. So that's the contrast. Now I want to change the, I want to create another uh, track bar for the brightness. Same thing, it takes a window, it takes a brightness value, a max brightness, and it's going to take the callback function, change brightness. And we need to define the brightness value and I'm going to start with a value of zero, so I'm not changing my image at all. And my max brightness, I can say is 50, or I can say 100. Um, we'll go 100. And then let's write this callback function. So define 
uh, change brightness. Uh, val, then I have global brightness. Brightness is equal to, with the brightness, I'm going to def divide this by 100. So the maximum value that I can add is going to be a one. It's still going to make the image completely white, but I'm, I'm just doing that same thing. So I'm going to divide this by 100. And then I want to perform the operation. So now I come to this perform operation. I have my image times my con contrast plus my brightness. That's why I wanted this perform operation to be a separate function. So I can grab all the values of these track bars and then make this one function that will actually manipulate the image. So now I should have two track bars and the contrast in the brightness are the values that I, or the strings that I put on that original track bar. I have contrast 10, brightness zero. So if I add brightness, eventually it's just gonna get completely white, but I can manipulate these two together and I can change what this image looks like. So this is how you add slide bars to multiple slide bars to an image in OpenCV and you can change what is happening and what that image looks like. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me grow my channel or liking the video, which helps get my video out there for other people to find.